Ow. Ow. Sit down and smash my finger into the desk. <laughs> Welcome back. Hey! Hey there, gorgeous. Such a joy to see you today. A lot to catch you up on. I, I'm so sorry, first of all, to have worried any of you. I know a lot of people were saying, where are you? We're worried about you. I'm so sorry. Did not mean to worry you. It's been a challenging past month, three weeks, Ugh, three weeks. It's been challenging, so I'll catch you up. There's been a lot of changes that have been happening around me, uh, so let's hop it into it. This is just going to be a very chatty, relaxed, get ready with me style video. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yes, baby. What's normal? What, what means normal? Yeah. I don't think anybody knows what that means. <laughs> Oh, that means there's no sparkle on someone. Yep. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty deep, Ace. How old are you? Three. You're three? Wow. <laughs> Out of the mouth of babes. So, yes, Ace and Jet are home with me today. Gia's first day of kindergarten was today. We'll get into all that a little bit later. But first thing I'm going to do is apply a... Moisturizer. I'm using the Pixie Clarity Lotion. And then, for my eyes today, Ace picked this palette out, didn't you? You wanted me to wear this. He says, I never see you wear this. <laughs> Even though he probably does and doesn't know it. This is the Viseart Purple Palette, which is one of my old favorites, so we're going to use that. Hey, you doing it. You like that I'm doing it? Yeah. Aww. I'm going to use some colors today I haven't used before. I'm taking this one from the bottom of the palette. Thank you. You can make a lot of teeth. I know, I'm not there yet. I do my eyes first, and then I do my face last. Then, then I'll roll this on your face. Okay, so this is going to be my lid color today, and I'll apply it like that. Ooh, that's pretty. Why haven't I used this one before? I may need to lighten this a little bit, but so far, you know, it's okay. I'm going to take this shade next as my transition shade. And we'll put that right there and start to blend it up. I got a mica. I got a mica. If I hold him, he will sit there the whole time. Eli's not like that. Eli's all over the place. He's like, I gotta go. I gotta go do things. But Micah will sit there as long as you hold him. Are you enjoying yourself back there? <laughs> what are you doing? So these past three weeks have been like one thing after the other, after the other, after the other. It's been every time you try to stand up, it's like knock you back down again. We were sick with this stomach bug like thing. And what was so weird about it was that no one had it at the same time. So like one child would get it and they would have it for two days. And then the next person get it and they have it for two days. And the next person get it and they have it for four days. And it just went through every single person. I'm going to brighten this up a little bit with this shade. So I didn't get it initially, but you know, everybody else got it. I actually was the last person to get it. I'm going to apply this wet. And then by the time I got it, man alive. <laughs> it's like, ooh, yeah. I mean, I haven't gotten sick like this since 2020. That's how long it's been for me. I, I don't get sick that often at all, if at all. And it's amazing to me how when the kids do get sick, I don't get it. So I thought this time I was gonna be safe from it too, but nope, nope. So when I got over that. <laughs> you do your cheeks? Not yet, not yet. Go find me a toy. Can you go find me a toy? No. Somehow I got a pinched nerve in my back it was in my shoulder blade. It was so bad, it went up into my neck that I couldn't even move, couldn't get out of bed, couldn't walk. I mean, it was that bad. And it went on for a few days. And then my husband was like, you gotta go see a chiropractor and get that worked out because it was getting worse and worse and worse. So I finally did that. And then I experienced relief and it, it really just turned things around. So, ah, oh, yeah. And I've said this before on the channel that if you don't see me on here, you know something is up because I don't take off unless someone is very sick or I'm very sick. Like, it's very rare that you don't hear from me for that amount of time. I'm taking this shade from the bottom of the palette, this deep purple. I love to use this as eyeliner. Sometimes I apply it wet, sometimes dry. Today I'm using it dry because I want more of a smoky look with it. Hi. 
Are you back? You're going to sit with me again. You say hi to everybody. You <laughs> pretty blue eyes. Yeah, you're so cute. You can sit with me. You can sit right here. How about that? In the midst of all of this, I've been waiting on my manufacturer to send me samples of lashes because I'm looking to add some new ones to the line. And so they came while I was sick and my manufacturer has now been saying, have you tested them? Have you tested them? We want feedback. We, and I'm just like, oh. I, yeah. So this is the first, I'm going to be testing some new samples that came in. You'll have to let me know what you think about these. This is not like the final, final step of the process. Sometimes I'll go back with edits, but that is the pair I'm going to be testing out today. Oh, I'm liking these. I haven't curled them yet. So they're going to look a little more lifted once they're dried. Right now I'm waiting on the glue to dry, but that looks, looks promising. I'm liking them. All right, for the rest of the face today, I'm going to go with the Revlon Illuminance Foundation. So my whole schedule is changing because things are changing around us. My son, my oldest son, Jet, was going to a specialized school. Um, where he was getting therapy services and all that. And that has ended now. He was supposed to be transitioning to the same school that my daughter goes to. And that did not happen because they are on a wait list. A lot of kids coming into that school. <laughs> we are at a point where we're gonna be doing homeschooling with him. And then we also found an option for him where they have a it's a group that got together a group of teachers got together and came up with a no 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 not right now no. like I was saying this group of teachers got together and created the schoolhouse old schoolhouse type environment where the kids are in there from ages I think it starts at kindergarten up to seventh grade and they're all learning in this one room schoolhouse type environment. So I wasn't able to get Jet in there full time, I and mean, that's fine. But I was able to get him in there on Mondays to start for about two hours in the afternoon. So we're gonna do that too, in addition to homeschool. And I like this arrangement too, because it's going to allow me to work in a way that he likes to learn. He's very hands-on, he's a builder, like he's big into Legos and building things and marble runs and that. So I'm gonna to try to incorporate some of those things into his learning materials, etc., and so on. And so Gia is going to the school right now. Ace is going to be home with me full time now because he was not thriving in the environment. There were a lot of issues that he was experiencing. He told us some things that we didn't feel comfortable sending him back to the place that he was going to. So I'm going to be keeping him home. So this is why I say my schedule is changing. I'm going to start, by the way, this was the Milani Concealer and Perfect Rose Under Eye Highlighter. I'm going to keep Ace and Jet home during the day and then my husband's going to switch off with me in the evenings and I'm going to work on the YouTube channel. So, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's gonna be an adjustment, but we're gonna make it work. For my under eye area today, I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Eye Cream and a concealer. Ace, please don't touch the camera. And then I'm taking the Lumi Bronze It for my cheeks. And I have to be very careful about which brush I use because somebody was in here and put purple on this brush which I normally use, and black or green, I don't know, on this brush. So it's like both of these brushes is no go. I have to be <laughs> so careful, so I gotta wash these today. But yeah, I made that mistake the other day. Went ahead and used one without looking at it. I had green all over my face. And I, I was sitting there like, why does this foundation look green? Oh, well, yeah. You should check your brushes before you do some. And the blush I'm using today, again, I have to be careful with the brush here. Okay, this one's good. <laughs> it's from Revlon. This is in the shade Rose, Rosy Rendezvous. I'm gonna apply it like that. And we did talk to Gia about homeschooling also, because I thought, well, hey, since I'm doing it with Jet, I could do it with her too. But she was not 
wanting to do it. She really said, I'm going to miss my friends. I really want to see my friends. She's been with these this group since she was two years old, so I get that. I didn't have that kind of stability as a kid. I moved to so many different schools. I went to so many different schools. It's unreal. And I look back and I wish that I had had stability in my childhood so much so that as an adult, I the longest I've ever lived in one house was 12 years, and that was as an adult. Lips, lips, lips. How do I wanna do my lips today? I'm gonna to use an old favorite, Essence's Satin Mauve Lip Liner. And I'm pairing that up with City Beauty's City Lips Plumping Gloss. This is in the shade Pink Nude. And I think one last thing I want to do with the lips, cause they're my lips. And I gotta wear them today, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take Max Creme de Nude and apply a little bit to the middle here. Oh, and I forgot to curl my lashes. I totally forgot that part. So go ahead and do that. Let's see if that makes a difference. Sometimes it makes a huge difference. Well, it kind of did. It. That eye definitely looks more lifted. And I hope that you enjoyed this relaxed, get ready with me style video. I gotta go dry my hair. Unfortunately, it's not gonna be dried for this video. It's just a very real video. This is what I do. I usually do the video and I go dry my hair, come back and film the intro, outro. I'm not gonna do that today. Just because kids. <laughs> so I have this little bit of quiet time. I'm gonna use it. So. I enjoyed catching up with you. The videos will continue from here, don't worry. I'm gonna try to get Thursday's video done tonight, Friday's video done tonight, so I can get those in advance, and then next week everything should be back completely to the way that it was before. So, ha! Huh. I hope that you have a great week. I hope that you're doing well. Let me know how you are, and that's all. I speak love, peace, and joy into you and into your home, and I look forward to seeing you again next time.